All right, we're going to be checking out another Dr. Philly episode. On this one, we got a wannabe TikTok star. So this kid wants to be a TikToker. I don't know why, who in their right mind wants to be a TikToker, but apparently people do now. So let's check it out. I'm just too savage though. Like, sometimes, like, when I want to, like, live my life and party a bit, like, I can get in trouble sometimes. Why does this dude remind me of a bootleg <laughs> Jake Paul? I'm just too savage, bro. I'm just too ways sad, bro. Savage. Jumping in the water. I'm so savage. No one can do that. Oh, my God. He also looks like your stereotypical <laughs> surfer boy. Like, I know this dude can surf just by looking at him. I don't even, I've never seen him do it. I could just tell. I mean, at least that's one thing he has. We got the police with me right here. They're trying to arrest me. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, bro. I know you got the power to do so and you got a golf cart, but I'm too savage, bro. I'm fast as f boy. I'm fast as f boy. The stunts, I love them. They're fun. Like, if something were to happen, I get a good reaction. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Like, this is the best for the content. Pranking my twin brother every single day until I hit 10K. Oh, Stop! Why is this dude in his underwear just chilling watching TV? I feel like I've seen this kid before somewhere. Killing me! Get the f out of my room and play Minecraft! I'm a professional dumb. I want to be a social media influencer. I will do whatever the top comment says. Get hit by a car or whatever. I'll do it just for you guys if you want to see that. All right, let's just stop the cap right now. Stop. You're not going to get hit by a car. You just prank your brother. Like day six of pranking your brother. I feel bad for this man, dude. He can't take it anymore. Pouring milk. He's just trying to watch some TV and you just pour milk, throwing eggs at him. Where is you getting hit by a car? I don't see it anywhere. Andrew continuously acted up after many suspensions. The principal expelled him and Andrew became very destructive started breaking things that's him being destructive he looks like he's dancing he started stealing things and when andrew found tiktok he got much worse why is the floor all totally flooded he flooded it's some baby oil or something you would have people fall and crack their head open <laughs> for a prank yeah what is that caption karen alert my mom won't let me put baby oil all over the floor so she falls and slips and dies what a freaking karen i swear these pranksters are ruthless like her mom and brother could be on the floor dead and he'll be like it's just a prank brah it's just a prank brah it's just for the tiktok mom my tiktok cloud gonna go crazy after they see this one freaking karen on the floor ah got him if you do not pull over we will throw a the police were called on andrew for grand theft throw it throw it what is this TikTok trying to pull strangers over by throwing eggs in the hood? Like, trust me, this is not the hood. If he did this in the hood, he wouldn't be here today. He would not be on Dr. Phil. If I ground Andrew, he will just leave the house. Whenever I have taken Andrew's phone away, Andrew has wrestled me for it. Imagine wrestling your own mom. You want to go Karen? You want to go Karen? I'm a freaking savage. Don't try this. I mean, that's all you really need to do, though. Just take his phone and his whole TikTok career is pretty much over. And then he has nothing to live for. And then he'll just be a good kid. It was that it's that easy nowadays. I have broken Andrew's phone before and I took a hammer to it. After I broke Andrew's phone, Andrew went into his brother's room, stole his bank card and purchased a phone online i have lost all control in yo 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 chill 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 my bad my bad but chill chill yo my bad my bad i did i did not mean anything i just said bro my bad bro don't throw those hands those are scary you're kind of scaring me right now jake paul my home where i'm just left in tears my mom has a hard time disappointing me because i'm just a straight savage <laughs> joy says that andrew mostly pranks his unassuming twin brother matthew who has no idea what's about to hit him. Some have referred to Andrew as the evil twin. Prank success? What prank is this? Did you just summon a demon? <laughs> like he's fully spazzing out. He might have created a monster. And Matthew, the good twin. Matthew has been an A student. He's part of the honor society. Matthew also works a job full time. The difference between me and my twin brother, he's the biggest snitch in the world. Andrew plays a lot of pranks on me. He has thrown flour, <laughs> baby oil, milk, <laughs> water, 
The worst prank was when he shaved my head bald. When people see my pranks about my brother, like a lot of them love it. Obviously they love it. They don't care about your brother getting absolutely destroyed every single day of his life. I just feel bad for this kid because he just, he can't even come home without getting abused. It annoys me a lot when I get home from work and he just wants to fight me and he just pounds on me. He thinks it's fun. He laughs at the end of them. Like, he, he's totally fine with it. I mean, the he does not look like he's laughing. Look at him. You're actually choking. He's struggling to live right now. Someone save him. Is this him laughing, getting choked out by his brother? Videos, yeah. They look like I'm a bull, but like, I'm not. Did he just throw a firework at his face? Guys, I'm not a bully. I just sometimes burn him, sometimes throw fireworks at him, but I'm not a bully. My own TikToks are lying to you. Don't believe him. Andrew, you, you've got a big strategy to be a TikTok star, right? Yes. So, yes, so tell me the strategy. All right, so my strategy is I'm just going to full send it and like live my life like a party and like, yeah, just make it in life, you know? No, I don't know. Explain to me. I just film savage stuff and like it gets views and goes viral. Really? So explain savage yeah. stuff to me. I'm not very smart. You'll have to help me out here. Savage stuff? Something savage would probably be like, hey, my name is Dr. Phil. <laughs> uh-huh. So your theory is that what the hell? Dr. Phil, what's going on? You're not going to say anything about that? He's clowning you right in front of your face. He just had that ready. He had that mask ready. He's like, I'm about to clown on Dr. Phil so bad. Dr. Phil's just like, right, I'm going to let that one slide. Where did he pull that mask out from? You do things that are at other people's expense and you think that's funny. I mean, there's a certain limit that I'll stop. I'm not just going to like avoid all like rules i listen to some rules let's not forget this is your show but this is my episode let's not forget that yeah we we got it it's your episode but that's not something to be proud of you're not on here because you did something good you're on here because you wrestle your mom that's why be an individual you sound like a clone <laughs> seriously this kid is actually the next joker what was that laugh you sound like a clone Oh my goodness, that is creepy. I just listened to that again, and I'm seriously gonna have nightmares. Who laughs like that? You sound like a clown. Do you How not about have a that? How about that? Stop, just stop. This is so cringe. Even the catch me outside girl would be like, stop this man. This kid must be stopped right now. Why do you mimic other people? Do you not have a personality of your own? I do, I do. What is your personality? I'm a savage. And I'm also a charming, sweet young man. Well, it's interesting to me because I wonder if the people that you're trying to get to follow you have really taken stock of the things that you do and who you are. Because I made a list of those things. And it, it's interesting to me because these seem like not very becoming behaviors, like abusing women. You I do wrestle, not abuse women. You wrestle your mother. You've grabbed your mother's crotch. You pretend to hit her. You Grabbed his mother's crotch? All right, this dude is just weird now. I mean, I knew he was kind of cringe, but that's just weird. Even he's kind of shocked of what he did. You've abused elderly people. You stole an elderly man's golf cart. I mean, that seems to me to be abusive behavior to women and elderly people. I don't understand how that's funny. First of all, I do not abuse women. I would never hit a girl. And uh, second of all, I went to reach in her pocket and she says I grabbed her crotch. I went to grab her. I went to go in her pocket. You also steal and betray your own family. You've stolen $1,000 from your mother. You stole her car and wrecked it. You've stolen $600 from your own brother. No, I steal. I steal hearts. I steal girls' hearts. I steal all that. I'm a savage. And I'm a ladies' man. Uh -huh. All right, this kid is kind of confused. At one point, he's like, I'm a savage, bro. And then he's like, no, I, I follow all, I follow some rules. And then he's like, I steal all these girls' hearts. And then like five seconds later, he's like, no, I'm, I'm a sweet, handsome young man. Don't worry. Which one is it? Yeah. Yeah. And you bully and humiliate other people like your brother, right? I don't bully. I, I stand against bullying 100%. Really? And people in my hometown know that too. I get bullied myself. I get bullied every day. But I just say the haters you know I, I don't bully my family no 
Well, you've beat your brother until the cops were called. You throw a bucket no, of water on him. You've thrown right. and dumped milk on him. Do you do things at his expense? Do you do things at others' expense to draw attention to yourself? Is I'm that your strategy? Savage. I'm just asking if that's what you call being savage. No, people like what they see. So if they ask you to do something on, like, on TikTok, I ask people, like, like most like comment, I'll do it in the next video. I listen to my fans. Okay, so you'll call a woman on the phone and make vile comments to her to get attention to yourself. Yes, because they told me to do it. It was the most like comment. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Well, that's idiotic behavior. There we go. Finally, Dr. Daddy Phil putting him in his place. He was letting a lot of things slide there. And finally, he tells him that's some idiotic behavior he's doing. But yeah, Dr. Phil again going crazy. He going crazy like always. But yeah, that's going to do it. Hopefully, y'all liked it. And yeah, peace.